Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Troubles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another look at Origami Magazine. This is uh, the current issue for May. Uh, it's issue 513 and I thought I'd share with you guys some of the projects that you can make in this. I've folded a few of them and wanted to share them with you. Of course, because it's for May, uh, the big holidays are Children's Day or Kids Day, which is the 5th of May, and also Mother's Day. So a lot of the things are for that, and then they're seasonal too. So some fun projects to enjoy for sure. So let me go ahead and show you guys some of the fun stuff I got to make with these pieces here. Now, the first thing that I thought was really cute is these uh, Hatobu dove flute uh, little corner pieces for a photo or image, for example. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, they're a little abstract, but it's a little dove, a little bird outline there. And then there's a place here for you to slide into to use to kind of corner off a picture or uh, anything like that if you wanted to. And then you can kind of uh, you know, have that sitting uh, on your desk if you like. It doesn't actually work as a stand, stand, but it as offers this cute little corner piece for something if you're interested in it. So, oops, get this the right way. You can do it in different variations if you want. I want to make them the same on both sides here. You can have it like this. You can have it like I had it before where you can have a little bit of that uh, edging kind of along the bottom. And that can look really cute if you almost, you know, you bring it together even. Uh, so you can use these if you're having kind of a celebration for uh, the east, these nice spring months here. It's a fun way to kind of make a cute little addition to stuff. And this was a pretty easy origami, and I thought it turned out pretty cute. So um, it was a, a nice little fun project. This is made by uh, Harumi Take, and it's just a really cute, pretty nice go-to origami. Not too hard. A fun challenge for sure. Then uh, we have a really cute uh, project by Ayako Kawate, and this her stuff's always really cool. This is a really cute um, envelope with a ribbon, and it really, really is a great way to, to make use of some double-sided colored paper that you might have. Uh, I use this one here with the patterns of the flowers on it. I mean, not flowers, hearts. And it just makes a perfect little envelope. Perfect for Mother's Day, anybody's birthday, any other reason, any holiday that you can think of. But it just sort of folds up into everything here. And you can then put stuff inside. So uh, you can have your letter that you just kind of fold up and put into this little square area here. And then it just folds up and tucks into these spots to finish it off into this cute little shape. Oops, I didn't get that side. Sorry about that. <laughs> but it's just an adorable origami. And it wasn't really that hard either. So I had a lot of fun making it. It was very cute. So, and the result is gorgeous. Very, very cool. Uh, then we also have a Pegasus. This is really cute. And it's just a classic kind of origami theme, but sort of just a little play on the crane in some ways and the shapes of origami traditional horse. And then you make this one that has wings. And this is by uh, Junichiro Somea, and uh, just a really cute kind of fun play on that. It wasn't really hard to make, and the result is very cool. Very origami, I think, so a uh, nice little fun one there. And then we have this cool chopstick rest that looks like a butterfly. And you can have it sitting on your table, and then you just rest your chopsticks right here. Uh, it's considered a nice manners when you're having a nice meal to have something to rest chopsticks on so that they don't touch the table and become dirty. And especially after having used your chopsticks, you don't generally put them on top of your bowl or stick them into your rice sticking out. That's bad manners. You want to lay them back down on your table without dirtying the table. It's common to have these little stands. And so this is just a really cute geometric shape that does look like a butterfly or a bow tie, but then actually is also a really cute uh, useful piece uh, if you wanted to have a special Japanese celebration of theme kind of stuff going on. It'd be a great way to rest your chopsticks there while you're eating. So, and that was a really fun project. It was a little tricky, but it turned out really cool. So, fun way to use some nice paper you might have. Definitely something for that. Then we have these high heeled shoes. <laughs> I love shoes. Origami shoes are always so cool. And these are really, really nice and really well thought out, I think. 
Some of them are a little strange sometimes, but I really like these. I actually made two so that I'd have, you know, a pair. And uh, they're made by uh, Yukiko Matsuno. And um, you can kind of, in theory, you know, there is an opening here. It's very narrow though. So it's not like something you could actually have your doll wear maybe, but uh, the idea of it and that you should be able, if you wanted to have it stand, and then you can have it, you know, sitting on your desk is a nice little display. And I suppose if you want to put something small in it, like a card or something, you could use it as a place setting for a party. It'd be so pretty if you made these out of a really beautiful, like opal colored paper for a wedding shower or something like that. It could be really fun for that. So definitely lots of fun uses for it. And it looks really cool too. So I like it when there's some more modern kind of cool origami out there. So that was a really fun one. And I think, you know, we're getting all these girly fashion things because of Mother's Day, I guess, is the idea. I can't argue. I'm not going to go against all that. I think it's cool still a little. Uh, but this is lipstick. And I just thought this one was so cool. This is by Masako uh, Futawatari. And it's two pieces. There's the case and then the lipstick itself that slides in and out. So you can kind of adjust it a little bit. You can even have it go all the way down in so that it completely disappears if you want. But it is, I guess it sticks out a little from the other side as a kind of a tab if you wanted it to be. But it's just so cool. And it can be so much fun if you can get some good colors to work with. I had some really pretty paper and I thought I got a chance to use that and have a really pretty uh, lipstick when I was done. So a uh, very cool uh, kind of project there for sure. And what fun to make these like for kids to play with some stuff too really fun thing for that for sure so if you were wanting to kind of have a decoration for a party or something with the theme of this uh, it would be perfect for that so very cute um and i think it was last month or the month before we had something from francis myo and he contributed another project to this month this love talk is what it's called and it's a heart that then talks to you. It's just so cute. I love this. And this origami was really fun. His stuff is always pretty cool. It's just the right touch of challenging, I think. You know, you I don't know if a, a novice would feel comfortable challenging to do something like this, but it certainly is a fun project to do. And it's not impossible and you feel really good when you're done with it. So that's always a great part to a good origami design, I think. His stuff is beautiful. So very adorable. I like that. Um, and then uh, part of kind of probably for Mother's Day, I don't know if you happen to have a dog or something, there's this cute little doggy gift box and you can create, he has this adorable tail and uh, he has a cute little like bandana on around his neck and a matching piece over his back, kind of almost like an apron. And then, you know, he opens up and you can put whatever you want inside. So he's really cute and uh, just stands there really cute with his little little paws out. So uh, really adorable if you know anyone who happens to be a big fan of dogs or just, you know, as a cute way to tell somebody, you know, happy birthday or happy Mother's Day or happy Father's Day or any of those kinds of things. Really cute idea for sure. So I had a lot of fun making these this time. I think there was a few things that I didn't make. I, didn't, I don't always make everything that's in these. There's um, stuff specifically for Kids Day, stuff like the um, uh, samurai helmet and the koinobori and these little doll characters. And there's a whole series of um, new vegetables that are in season. So uh, some be beans and uh, eggplant and like a radish and stuff. So, um, you know, if you wanted to to kind of get some of those kinds of things going. This is a good issue for that for sure. So um, I will have uh, more of these to share with you guys when the uh, issue comes out next month for June. So look for those. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.